Hello, everyone. In this video, I'll walk you through how to use this finance tracking web application to manage your budget, income, expenses, and savings. Plus, you'll see how to view a beautiful summary of your finances like this. This application is built on top of Google Sheet using Apps Script. The front end uses Vue.js. When you open the application, you'll see several tabs. Budget, Income, Expenses, Savings, Summary, and a drop-down tab. The drop-down tab lets you manage categories for expenses, income, and savings. Let's dive into how you can use this application. First, we will start with the drop-downs tab. For example, let's add a new income category. Click Add New, and let's name it Income from Rent. Then hit the Submit button. And the new category was added successfully. Similarly, you can add and edit categories in the Expenses and the Savings tab. Next, let's explore the Budget tab. This tab displays a list of all the budget heads. Each budget head shows title, date, total budget amount, and actual spend amount. By expanding a budget head, you'll see all the budget items under this head in a table format. Let's see how you can add a new budget head and then add items to it. To create a new budget head, click Add New. Select a date, give it a name like Home Renovation or October Budget. Then you can add multiple entries. You can leave the actual amount blank and update it later. Notice that the total budget and spend amounts are calculated automatically. Hit Submit to save the budget. And you can see our entry was recorded successfully. You can very easily edit or delete the selected row by clicking these Edit Delete buttons. A handy feature is the ability to make a duplicate copy of entire budget entries in any selected head. This is useful if you have recurring budgets with many items. Simply click the Duplicate icon. Once saved, adjust the date and title and modify the amounts as needed. Let's try saving it again. And you can see our changes were saved successfully. This feature can save you a lot of time when managing recurring budgets with many items. Now, coming to the Income tab. The Income tab works similarly. Add income entries by selecting date, category, and amount. The Expenses and Savings tabs follow the same process. You can manage multiple entries for each date, making it easy to enter several entries in one go. In the Summary tab, you'll find a consolidated view of your income, 
expenses, and savings month by month. You can see the totals in a card format and visualize them in a bar chart. Plus, you can export this summary as a PDF or Excel file. Now, how to make this yours. To set up this application, start by making a copy of the spreadsheet using the link in the description. Go to the file menu and then make a copy. Next, open the script editor by going to Extensions and then App Script. In the API.js file, you'll see a constant named prefs. Update the locale and currency to match your region. This will be used for formatting the amount as currency depending on your country. Then hit the Save button. After that, click on the Deploy button and choose New Deployment. Set the deployment type to Web App. In the description, give it a name like Version 1. For the Execute As section, choose Me. And in the Who Has Access section, choose Only Myself. Then hit Deploy. You'll be asked to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant the necessary permissions. Once done, you'll receive a web app URL. Open it, and your application is ready to use. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For further customization, feel free to contact me. Details are in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.